और आइए अब आपको बताते हैं हमारी आर्थिक नीति से जुड़ी हुई एक महत्वपूर्ण खबर भारतीय रिजर्व बैंक ने द्विमासिक मौद्रिक नीति की घोषणा करते हुए रेपो रेट में दशमलव तीन पांच फीसदी की बढ़ोतरी की है आरबीआई गवर्नर शशिकांत दास ने कहा कि अगले बारह महीनों में मुद्रा स्फीति की दर चार फीसदी से ऊपर रहने की संभावना है Bank credit is growing in double digits for eight months now. India is widely seen as a bright spot in an otherwise gloomy world. Yet our inflation remains elevated, as in most parts of the world. Global spillovers continue to impart volatility and uncertainty. Let me now focus on the deliberations and the decision of the Monetary Policy Committee meeting, and this is something which I think. Uh, the key thing about which the market is uh, uh, eagerly awaiting. Now, the Monetary Policy Committee meeting met on 5th, 6th, and 7th December. Based on an assessment of the macroeconomic situation and its outlook, the MPC decided by a majority of five members out of six to increase the policy repo rate by 35 basis points to 6.25%. With immediate effect. Now, I think this is one occasion where the market expectations and the decisions of the Monetary Policy Committee are, by and large, aligned. And there are several interpretations whether, when the market expectation and the monetary policy decisions are aligned, whether they are, you know, they have to be taken as a perfect monetary policy or otherwise. But that debate can happen some other time. Now, consequent to this increase in the policy repo rate by 35 basis points, the standing deposit facility, that is the SDF rate, stands adjusted to 6%, and the marginal standing facility rate and the bank rate to 6.5%. The MPC also decided, by a majority of four out of six members, to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation to ensure that inflation remains within the target. Going forward, while supporting growth, let me now elaborate on the MPC's rationale behind these decisions. Uh, these decisions relating to the policy rate and the stance of the monetary policy. Growth prospects across the world are dampening. Financial markets remain nervous and are characterized by high volatility and price swings.